Hello everybody and welcome to Sin City Living. My name is Jason. I'll be bringing you today's episode. As always, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. We have a ton of content coming out for you guys every single week. We don't want you to miss a thing. Our usual shout out of appreciation to our patrons. All those tips and support are highly appreciated. It's only going to go towards making the channel better. We're hoping to add a lot more games to the channel, such as roulette, video kino, video poker, uh, uh, carnival games, things along those lines. We just want to do it right. It's going to be very expensive, so it's going to take some time. You could help us out if you wanted to. If not, no big deal. We appreciate you guys just tuning in. But if you're curious about it, go ahead and check the description down below this video on, uh, on the patronage. And for our patrons, we do hope you are appreciating those patron-only exclusive videos we're putting out for you guys every single week. If you have anything you'd like to see, just email us on the site. We're more than happy to film it for you. As for the rest of you, Please continue tuning in. We have, like I said, a ton of content coming out. And if you have any suggestions, questions, strategies, anything related to craps, baccarat, blackjack, pie gal, casinos, Vegas in general, just go ahead and shoot us an email at sincylivinglv at gmail.com. We absolutely love to shoot these videos for you guys. It is our favorite thing to do. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and jump into today's video. So for today's video, I want to shoot something that was sent to us uh, via email by one of our fans. They had been watching a video, another channel or something along those lines, with a, uh, with a role that turned out really well. And they uh, ended up being somewhere around 55, 56 rolls without a seven. I took a look at, I took at the look of the rolls and the, the uh, it almost came out perfectly smooth as far as the probabilities of numbers coming out. Nothing really seemed to jump out that happened more than it should have, except possibly a couple of the horn numbers. But they were curious because they said the players started out, uh, they, they were at about a $500 bankroll when the roll started. They said when it finished, they made about $4,000. The most any of them made was about $4,000. So he was curious at how it would have worked with a power press method. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and he sent us the rolls and I want to go ahead and go through these rolls. And I'm actually going to do it with three different things. Because he said some of them were playing green, some of them were playing uh, $10 minimum. So I'm going to assume it's a ten to $2,000, $10 minimum, $2,000 maximum bet. And we'll take a look at it and we're going to do a mid press, a power press, and a power press starting with green. So we have a, an opportunity to look at my two favorite methods, the mid press and the power press. And then we, get, we can analyze the power press based off of a minimum and based off of starting at green. Since he said some of the players were starting off at green. So we're just curious to see how it goes. Now, Due to the constraints of um, the video, I'm going to probably go through the payouts relatively quickly, but just to see if I can keep this under 20 minutes. If not, well, sorry, it'll be a little longer than 20 minutes. Um, so if everyone would start out with 500, then uh, one person went, two people went 64 across, which would have been including the point, and one person went 160. So these ones have their change of $436 left over and this person would have three hundred and forty dollars left over so let's go ahead and set that up and okay so let's take a look at the roll so it starts out with a four so they mark the four nobody's gonna get paid because this is where you're gonna go across with your points so then the next roll is a nine so I said this first player was gonna be a mid press player so they're going to press up five bucks and collect the other nine dollars next up is a power press player so they throw in a quarter or they throw in a dollar and they go up to a quarter and then we've got this power press player that's going to get paid 35 and they're going to stack it all the way up to 60 dollars so then the next roll is a 10 so this player is a mid press player they'll throw in a dollar go up to a quarter well, we'll just take it up to 15 most mid press players would go up to a quarter at this point but we'll just take it up to 15 just for ease okay next we've got the power presser so the power presser would throw in the dollar we don't have the dollar here so we're just going to do it this way and they're going to go all the way up they go all the way up to 30. the next player will throw in their dollar to get paid throw in five to get paid 54 go all the way up to 75 that's the power presser right there so then was a winner four so same thing mid press players oh no mid press player is going to throw in a dollar they're going to go up to 15 collect the rest power press player is going to throw in a dollar they're going to go up to 30 other power press player is going to throw in a dollar and go up to 75 so we unmark the point 
So now the nine roles. Now nobody gets paid here because it was a come out role. Most people aren't going to be working on the come out role. So the next role is a five. So once again, we've got a mid press player. So they're going to collect nine bucks and go to 15. Power press player over here is going to throw in a dollar so that they can go to a green. And the other power press player is just going to stack everything up so they go up to 60. So next rolls a four. Mid press player is going to throw in a dollar so that they can go up to a quarter and collect the other 20. This player is going to throw in, power press player is going to throw in two dollars. They're going to go all the way up to 90. Their power press player is going to throw in five so they can get paid 151. And they would go all the way up to 200. Okay, they're actually going to collect a little bit at this point. So they're at 200. So next would come an eight. Sorry, I'm trying to keep track of these rolls so I know where I'm at. Next comes an eight. So mid press player is going to press one unit, collect the rest. Power press player throws in a dollar or throws in five, collects a buck. They go up to 30. Other power press player throws in a dollar. They go up to 66. So that's an eight. So then we have a five. So on a five, the mid press player is going to collect $11. They're going to go up to a green. Power press player goes up to 60. Other power press player, now this is where it's going to get a little bit interesting because they collect $84. Okay. And that leaves them right here. They're going to go up to 125. And they're going to collect some. That actually can't have been correct. I must have play, paid that wrong. This is, they would have been at 60. They would have gotten paid $84. So then they have, there we go. I knew it was off. So they'll throw in $6 and go to 150. That's where I thought it was supposed to go. That was I made a mistake in there somewhere because from 60 you generally go up to 150. All right, so from the five after that, a four rolls. So first player throws in a dollar. They're a mid-press player, so they're going to press it a quarter. Power press player is going to owe likely four dollars. Okay, so that's going to pay $186. So we're just going to go ahead and pay out $186. First, let me get some green here. I'm going to pay out $186. And let's see what they've got to work with. 275 to work with, 250. Gonna power press it up to 250. The player at 200, oops, that was the wrong way. Over there. The player sitting at 200 is gonna get paid 390. Go to five. So they collect the rest. That was a four. After that, the six came. Now on the six, the mid press player is going to go up to 18. Get some of these aces back. And oh, perfect. So mid press player goes up to 18. Power press player would throw in $4 and go up to 30. Other power press player is going to throw in a buck so that they can take it up to 66. Next came a 12, didn't matter. Next came a 6. So on the 6 roll, so the mid press player here is now going to go up to 30. They're going to collect the rest. Keep this nice and clean as best I can. Now the player, the power press player here throws in a dollar so that they can go up to 66. Player over here would throw in seven dollars, so they're going to get three change. This bet goes up to 150. Next came a three, which did nothing. After that came another six. Now at this point, the mid press player, ah, 
mid press player would want to throw in two dollars. So they throw in a five so they can collect the green and they go up to 42. Very common press there. Meanwhile, the power press player over here throws in the seven dollars necessary to take their bet up to 150. The other power press player is going to collect a green. Their bet goes up to 300 because they started out in the greens already. So they're going to be a beat ahead. Next comes a five. So mid press player here will throw in a dollar to take their bet up to 36. Power press player here is going to throw in the six dollars. So we'll throw that in, collect four, in order to take their bet up to 150. Other power press player here is going to take their bet up to 350, collect 10. The next roll after that is an 8. So this player right here goes up to 30 because they're mid pressing, so they still want to collect a little bit. Player here throws in the dollar. So that they can go to 66. This player throws in the seven dollars necessary to go to 150. And after this eight came another eight. Eights do ten, sixes and eights because of the frequency tend to come up pretty, pretty often. So they throw in two bucks, they collect, go to 42. This player right here throws in seven dollars, so they go up to 150. This player right here is going to collect a green. And go up to 300. After this eight came another five. Now this player that's at 36 is just going to swap bets. They go to 50. This player that's at 150 is going to collect 10. They're going to go to 350. This player that's at 350, they are going to collect. We're going to make this a little bit easier. They, it, they're going to collect 515 for a quarter, take that quarter out, they're going to go up to 800. Collect the rest. Next came a four. This is going to pay 98. Now it's a mid-press player, likely going to go to 100 on this. Collect the rest. Power press player here. They are sitting on 250. That's a $12 big. Okay, so we'll do this. They'll throw in a green, collect 13 change. So they get their VIG. So their VIG is paid off. It pays 500. Stack it up because we're power pressing. Over here, 500. 500 would be a $25 VIG. So it pays 975. Gonna make it look like 1500. The next roll after that was a winner nine. Now, mid press player here would collect $11, go to a green. As we know, power press player that started at table minimum 10 bucks is gonna go up to 60. Other power press player would throw in $6. We'll take this green and give 19 change to make it easy. Gonna throw in six dollars so they can take their bet up to 150. And now we're in a come out roll situation. So they had a three, then they had a winner seven, neither of which are really going to affect these players any. After that they mark the point as eight. Nobody's getting paid here because again it's a come out roll. We're not working. So then a six rolls. So we've got our mid press player here that's a 42. So they're going to go up to 60. Then we've got our player over here, the power press player. They're going to collect one green so that they can take their bet up to 300. This player that's at 300 is going to collect two greens and go up to 600. That's the six. After that was a winner eight. So this, this shooter was doing really well. So the mid press player, 42, is going to go to 60 as we've already done a couple times. Whoa. And as we know, the 150 is going to collect a green, go to there. And we know the 300 is going to collect two greens and go to 600. 
and we are back to another come out roll situation. So the nine rolls, and once again, nobody's getting paid because it was a come out roll and people weren't working on the come out rolls, most likely. Clean some of this up. Okay, so we are at a point of nine. Now a two came, doesn't really do anything for anybody. Next came a four. So the mid-press player throws in five bucks, they press up a hundred, they collect a hundred. Very common with mid-press players. The power press player over here has a $37 VIG. Yeah, they just so happen as to have 37 free bucks. So they have a $37 VIG, they get paid $1,500. And like most power presses, they're going to go to table max because that's the entire goal of a power press. Get to table max as fast as you can. They got there. The other power press player, now this is a $75 big. He's got 75 bucks right here. So with that 75, he gets paid $3,000. Press up to table max of 2000 Next came a three and then two twelves, so no harm, no foul on those rolls. Next came two sixes. So the first six comes and we've got this mid-press player here, so they're going to get paid 70. They'll go up to 90. This power press player over here will collect $50 and they're going to go up to 600. This other power press player is going to collect 100. They're going to go up to 1,200. So then the next six comes out, and we've, oops, I forgot to put the cap on. And this mid press player, now at this point, some mid press players will go to 120. I usually will go to 150 from here. Collect the rest. This player collects 100 as a power presser. This power presser collects 200. And here's the thing, now this player is at table max, and this player is only one roll away. That's the beauty of the power press. So the next roll is a 12, does nothing, so then a 10 comes. So this player will throw in a dollar, and go up to a quarter. So this player has gone up to a quarter, this mid-press player. So now this power press player, they have a $2 VIG, so they throw their two bucks in, and they go all the way up to... 90. This player right here is a $4 VIG. So they'll throw it, go ahead and throw it on in. So they get paid 150. They're going to collect a green. They're going to go up to 200. Next comes a winner nine. Mid press player would throw in a dollar, go up to 36. Power press player is going to throw in $6. I'm going to go up to 150. The other power press player that is a beat ahead of them has their 210. They go up to 350, collect 10 bucks, and we're back to another come out roll. Next, they mark the five. Now, as usual, nobody's getting paid here because it was a come out roll. After that comes an 11, no big deal. Then comes an eight. So on an eight, mid press player will go up to 90. Power press player here collects 50 bucks, goes to 600. This power press player that is a beat ahead because they started in the greens is going to go up to 1200. And the next roll after that is a winner. So they throw a winner. So this player that's sitting at 50 is going to go to 75. It's again, mid pressing. This player that's sitting on 350, so they're going to get paid 490. We're going to pay at 515 for, for 25. We're going to go up to 800. They're going to collect 40 bucks. Now this player over here is at 800. So what does 800 pay? 1120. Because 500 pays 700. 30 pays 420. Or 300 pays 420. So they're going to get paid. $1,120. What do they have here? 
they have 920. They're going to throw in the 100 that would be necessary to bring themselves up to, or the 80 rather, that would be necessary to bring themselves up to table max. Because when you're that close, you're going for table max. Next was a winner 7, did nothing, no big deal whatsoever to that one. And then they mark the 9, and as usual, nobody gets paid because it's a come out roll. So the next roll was an 8. What am I doing? So, mid press player goes up to 150, collects the rest. Power press player collects 100, goes up to 1200. Other power press player collects 200, goes up to table max at 2400. So, the power press player that started out at green, you notice already has four numbers that are at table max. The power press player that started out at table minimum, 10 bucks, has four numbers that are close, that look like they're one beat away from table max. So next comes a six. So this player that's at $150, right, they're going to get paid $175. So they're going to get paid $200 for a quarter, collect the green, go up to $300. At this point, mid-press players are going to collect a small bit still, but they're going to try and press on, press hard. They're already up, and they're already up quite a bit. Other player collects their $200 and is going to go to table max. Start getting myself a little bit of change here. So this other player gets paid 2800 They throw in 200 bucks and they'll take 3000 because they're already at table max. They can't do anything else. They could. They could start doing come bets and such, but I don't, I don't start doing put bets quite yet. Next in eight rolls. So, once again, this player is going to collect a green so that they can go up to 300. This player is going to collect 200 and go up to table max. This player right here is going to throw in 200 and collect 3,000 because they, again, are already at table max. Next came an 11, no harm, no foul. And then, guess what? Another 8. So, this player right here, the mid press player, collects 50, goes up to 600. This power press player will throw in 200 so they can collect their 3,000. So they started out at table minimum, $10, and they're already collecting max bets. So and then this player collects their 2,800. Next came another 11, no big deal. Then came a 10. So with a 10, this is going to pay $49. They'll throw in a 5 so they can get paid 54. They're going to go to 50. This right here, they're going to need four bucks for their VIG. Maybe five, but a lot, most places are going to charge four. Four bucks for their VIG so they can collect $180. Go to $250. Collect the rest. This player's at $200. They throw in their $10. Bucks. Make it $110 so that they can collect a purple. They get their 500, and they're actually slightly off from the other side. I may have pressed the four slightly differently, but going up to 700. Oh, no, I'm sorry. They would go up to 600. Yeah, that's where they would go. They would go up to 600. Just wanted to collect the purple. That's what I did. Then, lo and behold, another eight rolls. So at this point, a mid-presser is unlikely to, to do something small. They're either going to go to 1,200 at this point, they're just now power pressing, or they may go to 900. Kind of depends. So they're going to get paid 700. Let's just say they go to 900. Let's just say they keep it small. They're still, still playing a little scared with their money. So they only go to 900. The other power presser is already at table max, so they throw in 2,000. So that they can collect, or 200, so they can collect 3,000. And this power presser, we're going to have them throw in 2,200 so they can collect 5,000. Just to make it a little bit easier. So they collect 5,000. Next roll comes a 5. So this player gets paid 105. Now they're way up, so most of the time they're going to go ahead and press up. They still want to collect, but they're going to press themselves up. Now this player that's at 800, well we already covered this, pays 1120, right? 1120, they throw in the $80 necessary 
to bring themselves up to table max. Now this other player is already at table max. So they're going to get paid $2,800. Still in $3,000 so they can get paid $5,800. Next came a 10. $2 VIG. Collect your 50, press up to 100. Sitting at 250 right there, so a $12 VIG. To get paid 500, go all the way up. Sitting at 600 right here. So that is a, I know I did a different press than the other one, but that's okay. This is going to be a $30 VIG, so they can get paid $1,200. They'll throw in necessary to get the table max because at this point they're way up. They already have four numbers at table max, so throwing in a few hundred dollars is nothing. In fact, there's a real good chance that somewhere in there, if I was playing this, I would have, instead of collecting on one of these, I would have brought the nine up to table max. But that's just, that's just me. That's just how I play. So the next row was a 12, did nothing. So next came a five. So the mid press player, likely at this point, ah, there's a couple different ways they can go, but let's just say they only bring it up to 300. They play it a little bit conservative. Now this power press player, they're going to throw in $2,200 so that they can get paid $5,000 because they're getting paid $2,800. They're already at max bet, so why not? And same thing with this player. They throw in $2,200 and get paid $5K. Next roll, a six. So this player that's at 300, is going to collect 50. We're going to go up to 600. Everybody else is, again, at table max. So, throw in 3,000 so you can get paid 5,800. And throw in 2,200 for 5,000. Next roll, wow, eight. So this player right here is going to get paid 1050 So they get paid 1050 likely going to press it up to 1200 because they're playing conservative. This player right here throws in the 2200 necessary to get paid with a $5,000 chip. This player right here happens to have the 2200 necessary to get paid with a $5,000 chip. And then the next roll, seven out. Seven out, wipes the board, cleans it all up. They lose all their money they have on the table, which some people get real bent out of shape about. But if you don't have money on the table, then you weren't really trying to bet, weren't really trying to win. So let's clean this up first as if it was a seven out, because it was. And then we will take a look at how everybody did. All right, so seven out came. Clean up the table. At this point, we've very likely got some players that are getting ready to color up. So let's take a look at what we've got here. Five, six, seven hundred dollars right there. So we'll do three for a thousand. And the mid press player, the player that was playing conservative versus the others on this roll, colors up colors up two thousand six hundred and twelve dollars. Two thousand six hundred and twelve dollars. Starting with 64 across including. Started with 64 across including. If they were starting at a higher level, like if they were starting in the green, this player very likely would have made five, six, seven thousand dollars. It'd be a lot closer to where they probably want it to be. Now, let's take a look at the power presser who started off with 64 across. Who started off at table minimum. Power presser who started off at table minimum has 15,300 and 
$15,368. They started out at $64 across, $10 per number, 12 on the 6 and 8. Started out at table minimum, $15,368. The power press player that started out in the green has $25,600, actually $25,707. $25,707. Start out with $160 across including. This is why power pressers exist. Especially because power pressers will typically operate on a confined, constrained budget. I'm only going to play with uh, 500 bucks. Okay, I'm only going to play with 500 bucks. I catch a single roll like this and I colored up $25,000. What that means is you have to catch one of these every 50 times you play in order to, to uh, um, just to break even. And that's unlikely to happen, but that's what's so exciting about this. And, and really every strategy in the long, long haul loses. The whole point behind strategies is to attempt to win when you catch the fantastic roll, try and maximize your winnings. So there you go. Mid press, power press starting at table minimum, and even starting at table minimum, colored up over $15,000 on this roll. Player that started out at 160 across, kind of in the mid, colors up over $25,000. So I hope you guys find this interesting. Thank you very much to the viewer that sent this to me. I really appreciate it. I'm glad I was able to do this for you. And uh, we will catch you guys next time. Bye now.